Hello once again, I'm Cosmic and welcome to another video where I sit down in front of a microphone for five or so minutes and talk about whatever pops into my small brain. Um, on this ep on this kind of video I want you to talk about video game taboos, it's something that I've been thinking of recently um, and I wanted to pose a question to you. Do you think there are any subject matter, kind of any topics or themes um, that won't be covered by video games or that video game creators are frightened to touch or indeed that an audience would find inappropriate and unacceptable in a video game um, now the reason i ask this is because you know recently in, in recent years we've seen a lot of themes and topics covered um more so than ever before you know we, we've seen video games become more inclusive of other sexualities and We've seen um, themes dealt with like rape. Um, we've seen things, uh, you know, themes dealt with, uh, you know, especially recently we've seen a, a, an increase in mental illness focused video games where, you know, vi video game creators are starting to talk about mental illness. And that is all very, very fantastic. And I really like that because it, it broadens the scope of video games. It, it becomes it more interesting. You create unique, uh, memorable storylines. And, you know, you can come away with. Um, interesting thoughts from a video game and the reason I've been thinking about this is because I I find it interesting that you know we've always got this argument about interactivity in the video game industry that a topic um, that can be portrayed on a film or perhaps in a book or perhaps in music um, is different compared to when you portray the same topic in a video game because of the interactivity and I think to some extent this is actually true uh, and the reason I say that is because what one game that I always like to quote is Brothers Tale of Two Sons um, and you do something in that game that when I did that that made me very uncomfortable and it, it, it impacted me a great deal emotionally when that video that scene in the video game was happening now I've seen the exact same thing and the exact same topic covered in a film, in music, and in a book. And none of them were as emotionally involving as that video game was. And that I believe that is down to the fact that I was doing it myself. It was me doing it, it was no one else. I wasn't just a um, you know, a, a, a viewer, I wasn't just sitting back and watching it happen, I was partaking in it, and it was it, that made it more real, in, in essence, to me. Um, so, with that in mind, and let, let's say for the sake of argument, because you could have the argument both ways, that while inter you know it does affect you more on an emotional level um, because of the interactivity, that it's still not real, so blah, blah, blah. You could argue about that all day. What I would say is, though, do you think that there are any topics in video games that aren't covered due to the interactivity? And I, I, I can think of a couple of topics that aren't really covered in video games or that I've personally never seen covered in video games. And if they have been in video games, it's not been the purpose of the game or the purpose of the story. It's just been in passing. Um, things like, I mean, for example, child abuse. Child abuse is a very ugly subject. It is a very uh, emotional subject. And it's something that you have to treat with a great deal of respect and care and sensitivity. And I've never seen that done in video games. I've never seen a, a, a child abuse theme in video games where they've discussed child abuse or perhaps that, you know, it's. I've never seen it in a video game storyline before. And I want to know if that is because video game creators are scared to touch it and they're scared to do the topic justice in a sense and or if it's because the interactivity would make it unacceptable. And I'm not saying that you should you, you should abuse children, um, but I'm talking about, you know, you're involved interactively into a storyline of, say, you play a detective or something like that and you have to deal with child abuse cases. You know, is the interactivity too much for people? Do you think an audience would be okay with that? Is it something that developers worry about, you know, that the audience will have a very negative reaction to... Um, that theme being in a video game and I don't know I it's something that I, I can't sit there and kind of pin down a reason why 
there are certain topics that aren't covered in video games yet and I'm sure they will be at some point as we as as you know the video game industry grows and as creators you know start to um, expanded because I mean at the same time films went through the same thing as well there was a time in film where you weren't allowed to cover certain th- topics you weren't allowed to show certain scenes you weren't you know all this and films as an industry have grown and they have become more inclusive of their topics and they've tried new things and some of them work some of them don't work but and I think video games will effectively be the same I think that you know as the video game industry matures um, you'll see creators trying to take risks and do new things and cover new topics. But I'm curious kind of as to the audience and the audience's perception of it. I- I'm curious as to see, um, you know, would you be okay with kind of um, very emotionally sensitive topics being covered in video games in a more prominent way? Because... As a critic myself and as a reviewer, I kind of look going to a video game very differently than, say, a normal gamer would because I go there to critique it. I go there to look at its mechanics. I don't necessarily go there um, f- just for the experience when, um, because, you know, the, the, the idea of that I have to do a review on this and I'm looking at it in a very critical way takes away from that experience and I think that any reviewer um, or any kind of games journalist will tell you the exact same thing that it's playing a video game when you're intentionally trying to um, be critical at it and um, kind of take it apart to see what's what and do a review on it is a very different experience than sitting down on the couch or at the PC and going into a video game especially a story driven video game for the experience of going through the game um, as a player and I, I'm i curious as to see the audience's reaction because as a critic I always like to see new things happen um, even if they don't work even if you know the idea was terrible the execution was terrible I appreciate that the effort was made to try something new um, but I'm curious as to kind of your guys thoughts on um, more emotionally sensitive topics uh, being covered more prominently in video game storylines and because I think it's something that, uh, on a personal level, for me, has to be handled with great care. I don't think you can be, you can be, especially with things like child abuse, um, rape, blah 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 blah. I don't think you can be flippant about it, and I don't think that you can. Um, I guess you've got to be very careful in how it's presented, um, because it can, you know, a lot. It can hurt a lot of people. Put it that way. And I, it, but as I say, I'm going to leave it there because I've yammered on for quite long enough. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think that um, there are topics that shouldn't be covered by video games? Do you think that video game creators should try and expand more on the themes and topics of video games? And do you think you know? Would you be okay with playing a video game where the main theme was something like child abuse or? you know a kind of other emotionally sensitive subject do you you know would you be comfortable playing a video game where you know that that kind of topic was being discussed so let me know in the comments section below um, and do like and share the video and i will see you next time